Michael Irvin recently made the suggestion that the Cowboys should sign Antonio Brown. I definitely disagree with that. The Cowboys, nor should any other NFL, NFL team, sign Antonio Brown. The reason why they shouldn't sign him is because he's showing us right now that he only cares about himself. We've seen the Twitter posts and the Instagram posts. We've seen how he behaved with the Steelers and with the Raiders. Now with the Patriots, he was doing well until he messed up again and he sent, he reportedly sent a tweet to one of his accusers, which he knew he wasn't supposed to do. And I'm sure the Patriots warned him about behaving himself. And of course, he didn't listen. So three teams have had issues with him. The Steelers, the Raiders, and recently the Patriots. If he joins the Cowboys, it'll probably be the same thing. He'll probably be a problem for them as well. I can see him throwing tantrums on the sideline. So if he doesn't get the ball three or four or five times, if he doesn't have 100 yards and three touchdowns, I can see him after the game throwing tantrums and pouting and just being a distraction. I can see him in practice with the Cowboys causing headaches for them. Not doing what he's supposed to do. Not showing up for practice because he's upset about something. Whether it's a helmet or whatever it could be. So I think it's a bad idea for the Cowboys to sign him. They just shouldn't do it. Get somebody else. They can even lure people out of retirement. Doug Baldwin is available. I'm sure for the right price you can lure him out of retirement. Anybody but A.B. And on top of that, let's just say for argument's sake they were to bring him in. He is going to face a suspension because we know that the NFL has this conduct policy and we know that when you violate this conduct policy you get suspended. So even if Antonio Brown does get signed by the Cowboys, he's going to have to set out a few games for them. I personally would not sign him, at least not for this year, if he can show that he can behave himself. If he's willing to admit that he's made mistakes and he's willing to do better, then give him a chance. I'm all for it. Unfortunately, he hasn't shown us that yet. So if I were the Cowboys, I would not sign him. And if they do sign him, it should be an incentive based contract. He shows up, he gets paid. So it should be a weekly paycheck type thing. He definitely shouldn't get no $30 million guaranteed up front. That should not happen because if you give this man guaranteed money up front, he's going to start misbehaving again. That's the pattern that we're seeing here. So I wouldn't do it. He shows up to the game, he gets paid. He shows up to practice, no problem. He can stay on the team. The moment he misbehaves, I would let him go quick, fast, and in a hurry. So that's what I think. The Cowboys should distance themselves from him. They should not even consider the thought of signing him. They just shouldn't do it. It's a bad idea. The Cowboys have enough problems as it is. Bringing Antonio Brown will only make things worse. That's what I believe. That's what history has shown us. Can Antonio Brown do better? Yes. I still believe in him. I do believe eventually he'll get it. Eventually he'll decide to make better choices and his NFL career can be resurrected again. That's what I believe will happen. It's just not going to happen now or anytime soon. So that's what I'm saying. But like I said, hopefully he'll behave himself and start making money and have his NFL career extended. We'll just have to wait and see what happens there. Thanks for watching. Thanks for listening. You should definitely subscribe to my channel if you haven't done so already. Just press the subscribe button below this video. If you did that, you wouldn't miss out on any content that I post. So you definitely should subscribe. Thanks again for watching. Thanks for listening. I hope that all of you have a blessed, wonderful day.